We're rolling, hello. It is, what is it? It is June 27th, 2020. And here is your reading. So let me kind of summarize the question that you sent me. The question is that you currently live in a city. You were thinking of moving to a smaller place, a smaller town, uh, a place where you've lived in the past, where you were planning on retiring to, but um, you were thinking of moving there now or in the near future and uh you saw an apartment there that looked really nice uh perfect i think you said and you also saw that there was a job available there although you did say that you could live there even without with you could you could live there if you stayed in your present job or if you took a new job so either way and um yeah you just kind of want to look at the energy around the move so um so the nine digit number that you gave me, I used that to draw a couple cards. I have two Oracle decks here mixed together, the Gods and uh, the Gods and Titans deck and the Sirens and uh, the Goddesses and Sirens deck from uh, Stacy DeMarco artwork by Jimmy Manton, who's from your neck of the woods. I think he's Australian. Um, I know you're from New Zealand, but closer than me. Uh, and. Uh, so I use that number to draw an oracle card for a theme for the reading, and I also use that number in a different way to draw a tarot card uh, that has your energy all over it. So I like to save this one till the end to kind of sum up the reading. And um, this one I like to set the theme of the reading. So you got, <laughs> you got Ostra or Easter or Esther, you got new beginnings. So the theme of the reading is new beginnings. Um, well, so that kind of, uh, I'm actually, honestly, I'm starting to, sometimes like the, the choice of cards that come up for the readings are so obvious with this Oracle deck that I feel like they're not even necessary because the theme of the reading is new beginnings just on what you told me and boom, we got a card that says new beginnings. So like, what's the point? <laughs> but um, I love that. Um, anyway, okay. So um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and I'm gonna draw three cards for a foundation. Let's just see where we are. Um, th let's just kind of see where we are. And then I'm gonna draw, I know you said you didn't care so much about the job. I am gonna do it, but first we'll start with just the move because the move effects is really the primary part of what you're asking about. But I wanna look at the move from two different perspectives. I wanna look at, um, so on the left we'll do staying, on the right we'll do moving to the new location. And I wanna look at it from the perspective of what does like what's like an emotional fulfillment perspective happiness in other words like on that frequency what does it look like for you to move and then um the other way moves affect people a lot is finances so i want to look at it from a financial perspective what does it look what is financially what does it look like if you stay versus if you go um and i'm just thinking yeah, I'm gonna ask it just for the move alone, and I think we can we can revisit finance with the job too. But um, I'll draw. I'll, yeah, I'll draw it that way. So let's see. Let me draw for staying, emotional fulfillment. Staying financial. Um, going emotional fulfillment, and then going financial this one okay so let's do that and then we'll look at the job stuff later okay um yeah i won't draw the card I'll, I'll talk about everything before i draw the job ones so um so interesting that you have like the high priestess so i feel like coming from a place of high priestess you know I think the, the what I'm getting from a high priestess is that you've been in a period where you've been uh, of a period of an examination. You've been kind of like looking for your inner wisdom and tapping into that. Um, and um, I think that's why the whole topic of the move has been coming up for you. So, you know, the, the, the high priestess carries the scroll of knowledge, the Torah in her hand. And, um, 
and and basically she's the one who has access to all of that. So basically by taking control and really examining this, you're being the high priestess. Um, you also notice that her garments kind of melt into water and you know the water is behind her kind of representing, you know, um, life, tapping into emotions, all of that stuff. And she's a part of that. She's also kind of a gatekeeper. So um, I really love that card. So that's like, that's kind of where this is coming from for me. Um, present moment wise, it looks like you are in a period where there's some churn around keeping the material plane in balance. Um, I don't know what that's all about, but you know, we have the two of pentacles here that's reversed. So there's, um, the undercurrent of this card for me is, is the, is, um, is emotional churn. Because if you look, if you look at the background of the card, the background scene is that you have this water that's kind of choppy and um, the boats are kind of being tossed in a very unnatural way. I don't think boats actually look like that when the, when there are huge waves, um, they don't tip in that manner. But, um, so under, there's an undercurrent of emotional churn brought on by juggling things on the material, to keep things on the material plane in check. So that to me could be that there is, you know, a work-life balance issue or there is, um, could be not enough work or not enough, um, not enough uh, stability in your, um, in the material plane of things and things like that. So I feel like there's a little bit of churn here. Um, getting the balance or the the reversal here to me the way i read it is there's the, the, there's blocked energy so there's something blocking you off from being balanced in this in the in the in the material realm so um i don't have that information but like let me know if that rings true for you now kind of where you're headed this is a really positive card you're heading from like you've got the two and the one actually two two one so tell me if two two one means anything to you but um you got the the high priestess here and then the kind of the direction that I see you heading is the or the, or the cards see you heading is the magician which is awesome it's all about manifesting and creating your um basically making manifest your own desires and whatnot however you know it came up as reverse so I feel like there is because of because of your you, you come from a foundation without reversal. So I feel like the insight that you've been getting or the pull of the tug that you're feeling about this move is coming from a good place and there doesn't seem to be blockage around that. Where you're headed though, it seems like there is blockage. Um, and hopefully that will become clear as we do the reading and maybe the magic card at the end will elucidate that as well. But um, yeah, the magician, I feel like you absolutely are, are heading into a not a state, but heading into a period or heading into a moment in time where you will be able to manifest your desires. However, something about it is going to be more difficult than you anticipate. So it could be that you're actually coming from a place of imbalance in terms of work-life balance or something to do on the material plane. It could be like how much money you're being compensated right now, something like that um, with the pentacles. But um, yeah, the magician, I feel like you can manifest your desires, whatever the meditation that, you know, has been coming through over here um, with from the high priestess, you'll, you can manifest it, it's going to be more difficult, however, than maybe you anticipated or uh, more difficult than you would like it to be. Now, um, let's see this, what did I say? This was staying, this is going. And then the staying, we had the emotion, the first cards were the emotional fulfillment component. And then the second cards were the, um, the uh, financial aspect of staying versus going. So if we look at the staying side of things, so really the devil to me is just kind of indicating that you're kind of, there are things that are holding you where you are right now. Um, and I think though, See, I'm, I'm trying to square this with the tone of your message. Now, we didn't speak live because I got it in writing, so I couldn't hear the tone of your voice when you were talking, but, you know, the, the most salient part of this image to me is the chains around the figure's necks, right? Are the chains around the figure? I don't know. Anyway, the, uh, the chains around the figure's necks, um, you know, they're basically chained to the pedestal upon which the devil sits, you know, the devil who's an angel, of course, and... Um, but the thing is that the if you if you look very carefully, the chains around their neck are very loose. So they're actually being held in they're they're feeling stuck because it's because of what's in their minds. They could actually 
just pull the chains off and just walk out, walk out of the situation that they're, they think that they're stuck in. So for you, I would say that there is, there's something that is maybe holding you back on a mental, like on a mental level so that, you know, from an idea perspective and, um, and uh, th there's something that needs to be overcome in order for you to 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 stay where you are. So I think like if there's any sort of hurdle between you and emotional fulfillment and just staying put where you are, it's all in your head. I think is the is the reason why the devil came up. Um, and notice too that you know both of the cards you got for staying are major arcana cards. So I feel like there's a lot of power in staying where you are. Um, which does not mean to say staying where you are forever, right? Because a tarot reading is about the energy in the present moment and because moment by moment things change. Um, so right in this moment, like the energy that's coming up is very strongly attracted to your staying because you got, um, you also got a very positive card on the financial side, but like, I feel like there's sort of major developments that could be had by staying, um, uh, the de uh, another definition of the devil card is codependency. Um, you could uh, think about that and see if there's anything like, what is it? What is it to be codependent with your environment? Is is staying going to foster some sort of dependency on something in city life? Um, actually, I don't really know. Like, I don't remember where you live, honestly. So I don't know if it's like, if like this other place, I think you said this other place is smaller, but I don't know, like if where you live right now is particularly small, like if it's suburban or if, if it's more urban, like I think it might be suburban, but um, now I lost track of my thought about well, anyway, um, anyway, look into this and kind of try to figure out what, what's going on that might be thinking that you're stuck where you are um, and whether or not, or it could be that the stuckness here, it could be what, what, this, is, what this is also saying, since the, the position of the card in the spread here is about emotional fulfillment, this could be an indicator that all you need to do in order to have emotional fulfillment in your present situation where you already are is to take the chains off. Meaning that um, the source of your discontents might just be your perspective, the way you're thinking about it, which is which comes down to a law of attraction thing. Like if all you focus on are the things that are making you not happy, then you're gonna be not happy where you are right now. So to me, you know, the solution for this problem could be like, okay, it's time for a gratitude journal, right? Or some, some sort of work on that level. Um, I, I wouldn't say shadow work because you got like a, this resonating high priestess right here. Not, so that, that kind of work. But um, here, like a gratitude journal, like, well, or a, um, a list of all the things about, uh, all the things that you love about where you are right now. Because I think like, you know, turning the frown upside down or just kind of, uh, uh, re, what's the, re-aiming, not re, uh, refocusing, refocusing on, um, the positives about where you are right now could actually change your perspective and make this, make saying a positive, um, a more positive and attractive, um, pursuit for you. I guess it's, it's weird to use the word pursuit for actually not pursuing like the move, but yeah, I guess, I mean, either way it's a decision, right? So, on the financial side of things, I feel like you got the world, right? So that means the world is your oyster. This is awesome from a financial perspective, staying where you are. So I don't know if where you are, given what your career is, if this is telling you that, you know, that there's a there's a better source of opportunity by staying where you are. Now, the thing is, is actually reverse. So there's blockage here. So to me, what th that could be indicating is that if, if the world is your oyster financially where you are, but there's some blockage here, it could just be telling you that, um, uh, you, you need to change jobs in order to fully reap the financial benefits of, um, of where you are. So like, maybe you feel like right now, given what you do as a career, perhaps you feel like where you are, um, in terms of where you're working and how you're earning your money is you're doing great and you're doing just about as great as you can. But I think the reversal in the world here could also be an indicator that it's like, oh, well, all you actually need to do is keep your eye out 
and there might be something even better for you. So that could be the blockage here, that it's like you're comfortable staying where you are, resonating with the devil, um, but um, by putting yourself out there and taking some risk, there could be even greater reward. That's what I'm thinking about the world in its reversed state. Um, because I, I, I could see how another variety of cards could be telling you that it's like, oh, you are already in the, the best state that you could be in. Um, you know, or even if the world just came up the other way around for me, I could say, I, I, I might say that, oh yeah, you're, you're sitting pretty where you are. For given for what you want to do, you're getting compensated the way you should be. I feel like this is saying that there is a way to get even more financial benefit out uh, from your life and, and work where you, in the, living in the city where you are right now. Now, um, on ter in terms of the moving, you got an emotional card on the emotional fulfillment position. You got the seven of cups. So, you know, this is one of the few cards where the figure has his back fully to us and he's in silhouette. He's in fact taken aback by all of the, 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 the choices before him. And I often refer to this as the spoiled for choice card. Um, um, I also think of this as the grass is always greener card and there's and it came up as reversed right so there's blockage here so I feel like you know from an emotional perspective this could be telling you that you know telling us that you're looking at you're examining your options right now um, and I think there's a state of emotional overwhelm because that's that whole action of the figure being taken aback some there's some emotional overwhelm when being presented with choice so to me, I'm thinking it could. This is also resonating here with the the devil. And when I put the two of the cards together, I feel like you know, actually, st because of the majors over here, just looking at that alone, I feel like that it like there's a lot of attraction and magnetism for you to stay where you are. You know, if, when you. When you, when you come away from this reading and you do some analysis, you make some pros and cons lists, and you absolutely should make a pro, pro if you haven't already, you know, make a pros and a cons list for moving and a pros and a cons list for staying to help you analyze this. And then see if like, oh, you know, just the act of doing that and plus the gratitude work, you know, is like pulling the chains off your neck or pulling or opening your eyes to the, well, you know what, I actually have it pretty good where I am because I feel like that might be the underlying message here. Um, this, I, I'm thinking like, there's the grass or grass is always greener situation over here. And it's like, you know, when you're discontent, you look at changing things up. Um, and I think that could be just the whole attraction of moving is really about that rather than it truly being the best move for you right now. Um, on a financial perspective, from the financial perspective, you got the queen of wands. I, I like this card a lot. So, um... I think it resonates positively in terms of the purely the pure money aspect. So I'm, I'm I don't think you'd have to take well you in fact said that you would have you would be able to keep the same job if you were to move. Um, but I feel like there's something because you have the queen of wands when you know money comes from work and so whatever you're doing in terms of work in this other location, I think it, it aligns better. Something about that situation aligns better with your will. And what I mean by your will is the fire inside of you, your passion, what this, you know, the wands are when the wands, when it's about what you're doing in terms of your livelihood is about how it aligns with your passion and your desires. And it's like the cliche about, um, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life which I know a lot of artists and people like that say that that's bullshit because like even if you're doing what you love, it's still a lot of hard work. But it's more about that being in line with your true desires, your calling in life and all of that stuff. So I, I like that a lot, the Queen of Wands. Um, I, I want to pull a couple more cards just overall, especially for the move, but I'm wondering if I should pull the cards for the changing a job. Like what about this new job that you mentioned since it did come up? And I know you didn't want it to be the focus. I'm going to pull the cards for the new job next. So, um, I, I'm just kind of, I'm pausing because I want to, I'm try, thinking about if I should draw two for each job or one for each job. Okay, I'm going to draw two for each job. I'm going to do it in fact the same way and it'll be harmonious that way, right? I'm going to draw two cards, like I'll do staying where you are job-wise examining the new job that you mentioned um, 
and I'll do it from the same perspective. I'll do it um, emotionally fulfilling and financially. Um, because I think since you mentioned that the, because you mentioned that the with the move, you could stay in the same job where you are now. I don't know how far away these places are from each other, but I'm assuming that if you moved, you could both stay in the same job or take a new job. I'm assuming that they're not connected. I think it was coincidental if I read a little bit more into the way you said it. So um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do both for both. Um, so let me get draw those cards. Interesting. Okay. So staying in the current job, um, that's, it. that's really interesting. Okay. So staying in the current job from an emotional, emotional fulfillment perspective, you got the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is basically, well, the, one of the, the first thing that jumped out to me is of the Knights, the, this is the horse that is the least mobile. The horse is in fact is standing still in, in this night. And it means that, you know, things are not progressing that quickly. But the knights are on all of the knights are on a quest, but this is a quest that's stalled. Um, so uh, it's about the material plane. It's about earning money. So I feel like this is kind of telling me again that you know you got. We were just talking about what the wands signify. I feel like there's a bit of a stagnancy um, in the current job. Uh, it's it's a livelihood. It's something you know that's kind of a constant so I think you've probably been doing it for a while um but he's just not getting that far on his journey so I'm like mm, I don't know I feel like it's kind of just same old same old if you stay where you are likewise with the financial aspect it looks like you know I'm assuming you've been there for a while um you've probably gotten some raises over the years you've probably had to not fight, but you know, you've been in competition with other people for raises and advancement and you've gotten some ways. You've got the seven of wands here, you know, he's like on a, he's in an elevated position against his, you know, peers or whatever it is. So you've made some advances. However, you know, he, um, he's still, he's still kind of wearing the tunic of youth. He hasn't advanced that far. So I'm like, I feel like staying in your current job is kind of lackluster. Um, whereas on the, if we look at like the new job situation, you've got strength on an emotional fulfillment level. That card is much more positive. And you've got two majors again. So I feel like the majors are staying put in terms of the move. The, both of the majors are, are, are skewed to getting a new, looking at a new job. On the on the purely the job front, so that's kind of interesting because this is this is actually kind of the opposite of what I was sensing you were asking me about, right? Because you seemed like, oh, it's okay, I can I can I can I can keep the same job, but I'm like really kind of desiring to move right now. What the cards are saying is like, forget about the move, think about a new job. Um, but uh, so you've got the majors over here, so. <clears throat> The, um, you've got strength, and I, I really like that card as an emotional fulfillment card, so it's kind of saying, like, you know, f because, especially since it's right next to this one where there's a kind of a fight and a conflict going on, strength is about, you know, gaining through, gaining through um, channeling your energy in a very gentle way, like, rather than fighting... This is like, instead of like, you know, blowing something up with dynamite, this is like, this is the river, the strong river that just like flows around the boulder, right? In order to make its, make its, make its way along its journey. So this kind of strength, I love this on an emotional fulfillment level. I think what it's saying is like, this is, um, you know, there, there won't be a lot of resistance um, if you, if you take 
the journey, there won't be a lot of resistance for you getting emotional fulfillment if you if you if you embark on a journey for the the new the new job. So I like that a lot. The tower for finance. Um, I feel like the upset, like the tower is kind of like about, you know, you have to like, everything that's established has to be broken down to its foundation so that you can move forward with the next card, which is the star, right? And you kind of like that, after like the, the upset of the tower, the, the star, the next card in the deck is about, you know, that first glimmer of light after the, you go through a dark period, right? And, you know, so... Dark periods are not always bad, but they're usually tough. Um, so I think this what this could be saying financially is by taking a new job, I'm thinking it might be that like in the beginning, there might be a pay cut or like um, there might be something like, <coughs> excuse me, there might be something about the job where it's not perfectly aligned with what you're doing now. So perhaps your experience doesn't align perfectly and that might be why there might be a little bit of a start over in terms of pay, like the pay might be reduced um, since that's the financial aspect here. I, but it's it's still a major rather than a minor card. So I still feel like there's like attraction to doing this new job. I don't know, what I don't know is if in the new location, if the cost of living is a lot lower such that you don't have to worry about the tower because like, although you, um, Although, although you might have to take a pay cut or something like that, something you might have to start over or you might have to take a lower title. I, I, could, I, could, I could see that as being a part of that, like that on the market in general, having a lower tire, lower, lower title would have you, um, would kind of lessen your earning potential, even if you end up making the same amount of money, just on the market in general for longevity's sake, it might have a consequence. Um, but... What was I going with this? Oh, oh, the cost of living. So what I didn't know is like moving to the smaller place, like it, it would balance out because like, you know, uh, you, if you're not paying as much rent, for instance, the pay cut actually doesn't matter in, 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 in those terms. So you'll have to figure that one out. Um, I'm going to draw a couple more cards for you. I'm just kind of thinking about where I want to go. I'm going to I'm going to move into the realm of the general now. I was I don't think I'm going to pull clarification cards on the move or on the job specifically, but let me pull I'm going to pull a card, two cards for advice. I'm going to pull like a a what to do, like kind of like a what, a what to do and a what not to do now um in terms of advice. And then we'll pull and then we'll look at your card to to sum up the reading here. So like let's do a what to do. Okay. And then a what not to do. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Wait, sorry. See, so this one was what to do, what not to do. So interestingly, the what not to do is, um, it, it sounds like you absolutely should go forward with a lot of activities to help you make this decision. So like, um, so this, you got a sword card, right? Which is all about air, the mind and stuff like that. So this is a decision-making card. So what not to do would, would be, it's saying, I, I'm trying not to make it a double negative. The what not to do would be don't just let your mind lay fallow. Use your logic, use your intellect to start making this decision. Don't just sit back, don't just relax, don't just kind of, whatever you do, even if you decide to stay in the current job and stay where you're living, um, don't do it out of, um, don't do it out of intellectual laziness and don't do it just because it's status quo. Do it because that is the logical conclusion that you come to after a good deal of analysis. That's what the message of that card is all about. Don't just relax. Don't just repose. Don't, don't go into a period of peaceful solitude and um, rest right now, especially on an intellectual level. Like really, really use your mind. Do some of that analysis I was talking about. Make the pros and the cons lists. Do some research, market research on the job. Do some... Um, analysis about the real estate. I don't know if you own or if you rent, for instance, but if it's like a buying thing, research the, the real estate market, do all of the work, um, don't sit back. That's uh, so what the not, although it was kind of, it turned into a what to, to do, it's it being expressed through the what not to do card. Now, the what to do card, um, 
you got the sun. So this is actually really positive. I feel like what this is basically telling you is that, you know, the situation, um, you got another major. So you got like, you got a whole bunch of majors um, in key positions too, right? Because like kind of bordering the foundation here and in these two key positions, it's very interesting the way the cards came up. But in terms of what to do, I would say that, you know, this, and it's resonating a little bit with me for the tower because it's kind of like, it, it kind of, it, it, it's part of the progression coming out of the tower card, the star, the moon, the star, the moon, and the sun. So to me, this is about thinking about, you know, what to do. Well, where are you? Like you see the happy baby on the horse, right? So it's like, where are you going to be happy? Where is the sun going to shine for you? Where can you, uh, this could also be like a, where can you kind of start over a little bit because the baby, there's the innocence of the baby. So there's that kind of like coming, coming into, coming into life again here. Um, so yeah, I, th I think this is just, um, it's telling, I think these kind of resonate. Like I think by doing what I said over here, it's just basically, it's going to give you the, the most positive outcome. Um, so just do, just, just kind of do that. You got another horse too. So it's like, it's all about moving forward, journeying and stuff like that. I like it. So um, now let's look at the card that you pulled. Oh, so um, to tie it all together, and this resonates with what we were just talking about here, um, don't get bogged down uh, in, um, don't wallow, I think is basically kind of one of the messages here. So you've got the Eight of Cups. This is a guy on a journey. Um, the way the cups are arranged, you can see that there's five on the bottom, three here, and there's like, there's a hole right here where something's missing, right, in the structure if you look at the way that they're arranged, there should, you can tell that like, if it were gonna be symmetric, there would be another cup there. So this guy is going off on a journey on an emotional level to see something that's missing on an emotional level, right? And this is the card that you drew, so I feel like thematically, this is a big thing for you. Um, so uh, I feel like the whole, the whole reading at its fundament is actually going to be, um, about your, not cogitating, I'm trying to think of a better word. Um, I don't know, I feel that there might be a dwelling on the things that are m m missing emotionally and the, and the fe feeling that you need to go on a knee, uh, you, the feeling that you need to go on a journey in order to find what is missing on an emotional level. And that that journey is going to be hard for you in some way because there's, there's, there's the reversal here. So I feel like it's gonna be a tough slog to do this journey. Um, and you know, that makes sense. And the, the, the theme that we got from the Oracle deck over here was new beginnings. I feel like the new beginnings, like going on a quest for new beginnings to me is part of what the sun is all about, because that's about, that's kind of like where, where, where we're coming up on the major arcana, the, the 19, the 20, the, the 19, the 20 and the 21 judgment kind of reevaluating reevaluating your life karma the phoenix rising all of that stuff and kind of culminating in the world you're you're coming up on this rebirth right so new beginnings and i feel like the need of the rebirth is coming from a place of searching for emotional fulfillment something that's missing on an emotional level um so really try to figure out what it, what's truly missing on an emotional level um because i feel like what it might turn out being is that it's like it actually could end up being at your fingertips where you already are, right? That's part of the devil, like that, the sort of the paradox of getting the devil in the emotional fulfillment position for the staying where you are. Um, maybe it's not actually missing, even if the whole theme is that you feel like, because cups are about feeling, so it feels like it's missing. But if you kind of exercise the intellectual energy here, like to figure out like how to make everything hunky dory, I'm like, mm, it could be, turn out that, you know, where you are right now in terms of abode is, um, is just fine. Maybe it's really the job that we need to look at. So um, I think that's all I'm gonna say. I hope this was really helpful to you. Um, let me know. And um, take care. And I hope this helps you make your decision. Let me, yeah, definitely let me know what you decide.